Hello and welcome back to the Advent Pocket Doodler. This is the video for days 8 and 9. I've decided to upload two days in the same video uh, for two different reasons. One, I usually have the same color scheme on the double spread so it just makes sense. Uh, visually it's a little bit more attractive and also um, I have been having a lot of issues recently with YouTube and it doesn't have to do with uh, COPPA or the FTC regulation. Uh, this is more in terms of the uploads failing. Um, the previous video was an absolute nightmare. I had to cancel the job and upload three times. It was quite frustrating and in the end I'm not sure if that was the reason why it got resolved but I ended up having to schedule it uh, for 6.30 in the morning. Usually I like to give my, um, my awesome patrons a pre-release viewing opportunity on Patreon uh, but if I schedule they can't watch it because the video is not accessible to them. So it creates a little bit of a problem, but we'll figure some, hopefully um, this situation will get, will get resolved soon. Um, the previous, previous video, I've had to do it twice also. So it seems to be the pattern lately. <laughs> hopefully they'll get their act together, but um, we'll, we'll try to do the best that we can with what we have. So I'm working on day eight right now, and I just want to, mention or talk about the pens that I'm using and the supplies that I'm using because although I always list the supplies in the description of the videos I also understand that not everyone is watching directly on YouTube so if you're watching on Facebook or Instagram and you're you're watching on those interfaces you will not have access to the description of the video unless you click on the title within the viewing box and then that will take you to YouTube. So if that's the case then uh, and you have a question on the supplies then you might have to do that. And if you're watching with the YouTube app on a mobile device you have to click on that little arrow uh, right underneath the window that has the little down arrow to the bottom right and that will expand the description. You just have to scroll down until you see supplies used in this video. Uh, and if you're watching on a computer, then you just have to click on show more and that will expand the description. Now, the reason why I, why I wanted to talk about the supplies is because of that pen, the Muji pen. Um, Muji has decided to not manufacture the colored ones so my understanding is because I used the blue black one in the last video um, these are no longer being made I know that if you go directly on Muji.com the photo of the item will show like the blue black hexa gel pen will show but it's not available to order you can't add to cart um, the black one, the one that I'm using right now, you can find it on Amazon and you can also find that on Muji.com or if you are lucky enough to have a Muji store in your area, um, go grab them. <laughs> I don't even know if they're going to keep on making the black one. I have no idea, but um, I will be very, very sad uh, if that's the case. When I added the white center to the two bottom flowers, 
I didn't realize I would run into a problem because the top one is on the bare paper. It's on white, so I didn't want to add white to it. So what I ended up doing is coloring the center black and using a Q-tip and some water, I removed the white that was in the middle of the two bottom ones because I wouldn't have been able to paint over that white. Um, so I did that and then once everything was dry I used my pen and I covered the centers and I liked the flowers before I started messing with them meaning that I really liked the fine lines then I started adding a little bit of uh, double petals one under the other and when I woke up the next morning, so this is the next morning, I was going to start day nine right away. And I thought, no, day eight needs more work. <laughs> and so I started darkening, trying to trying to balance them a little bit better. Um, but like I said, I liked it even better without, like I liked the fine line better. That's... Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to make sense of what I did, but, um, and also when I did those flowers, I kind of lost track of which, because I, I wanted to work around the shapes, like I wanted the flowers to be hidden by the color patches, and um, I lost track of it. <laughs> At some point, I was confused. One petal was going to be on top of the other, but the whole flowers would be under. It didn't make sense. Anyways. I did the best that I could with it, but that was kind of a good practice for the next day. I wanted to keep kind of like the same uh, theme, which is, uh, I don't know if these are leaves or flowers, they're just some kind of petal and some kind of abstract flowers. <laughs> <laughs> but I like those simple lines and this is what I wanted to do with the eight um, so again you know every single day I learn something I hope you are learning as well um, I think this is such a good adventure that I started and um, hopefully I'll be able to maintain that practice going forward I filmed some footage with my phone because I thought it would be a good thing for you to see from a different angle what goes on. Oftentimes when I doodle on my pages because I have an overhead installation, my camera focuses on my hand um, because it's on autofocus. And honestly, I tried to put it on manual focus and it was a bit of a drag when I was trying to um, zoom in and out. So. Uh, by using my phone like this, I'm able to give you uh, 
a little bit of a different view, like more of a close-up. This is larger than life, actually. <laughs> and I'm, I was toying with the idea of two different dotting weight, um, the large dots and the small dots. And I had so much fun with this. I think it looks great. It creates a beautiful uh, balance with the different weight, the different texture. It creates a pattern, but um, I think on this page I was able to achieve the balance that I was looking for uh, on the, the day eight. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I did do um, a little bit of uh, darkening the center of each of these flower-ish things. <laughs> and I think these work better. I still have that single line that I like. And then um, I also added, because this, the um, closer to the center is a little bit more dark it gives me that contrast that i was looking for so all in all this page i absolutely adore um it was such a fun thing to do and it was quite quick i think i did this page under five minutes with uh well maybe i'm exaggerating let's say about seven minutes because there were some uh, moments of hesitation but and that's the whole purpose of this practice is to keep it as short as possible I know I've had longer ones <laughs> on, on some days and I didn't feel go good about it I really wanted this to be a quick exercise something that we can do just to uh, just to get that practice out every day even when we're busy so I think this page is a, for me, it is a success. I, and it's happy colors. It's not colors that I'm used to using. These are quite primary, uh, but it works. The black, the black and the white space around the page, I think um, is something that I'm gonna need all the time. It makes it a lot easier when there's white around the image that you're working on. So here's another close-up shot. Uh, you can actually see very well the pen with this angle. Um, this is the Muji. It's 0.25 millimeter. <laughs> That's quite tiny. Um, and you'll excuse my crusty hands. They're clean. <laughs> They're just super dry. <laughs> it's winter here, so I have extremely dry hand hands. Um, but yeah, that that pen, you can see it's a rollerball pen, so it doesn't fray. It's just, ugh, I wish it were permanent. That's my only, uh, the only bad thing I can say about this pen is I wish that it were a permanent ink, but it's not. So I use it when I know that I'm not going to add anything else on top. But here are the two pages. Um, I think they work together, but my favorite, obviously, is day nine but um, I don't know it makes me happy so thank you so much for watching again don't forget to uh, check the description to see what I used in this video and I want to say a huge thank you to my awesome patrons for supporting my art over at patreon thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon